was a month after Christmas, and at the White House, the Trumps are still there. They refuse to move out. The doors are nailed shut, and the shutters are locked, and even the secretest of tunnels is blocked. Don Jr. and Eric deep under their bedding, while Melania burns the prenup from her wedding. Ivanka and Jared sneak out the back door, while Donald sends tweets calling Kamala a whore. When out on the lawn, there's a soft pitter-patter of sensible shoes and of socialist chatter. Away to the front door, old Donald did fly, his eye to the keyhole for what he could spy. The garden was green, not a snowflake was forming, due to the hoax that they call global warming. Come out, Donald yelled, to where I can see ya. Is it you, Black Lives Matter, or you thugs from Antifa? Then in a flash, so clean and so silent, came a shiny red Tesla, Green New Deal compliant. Out from the back, clearly breathing his last, came an elderly man who was wearing a mask. Oh my God, Donald yelled, get Lindsay and Mitch. It's sleepy old Joe and Kamala the bitch. Tell them to hurry. The whole squad is arriving. And just like we said, AOC does the driving. But Lindsay was hiding deep in the closet. Mitch was on the can making a large coal deposit. Outside, Joe drew up all of his strength and bellowed to all of his ride-sharing friends, come Bernie, come Amy, come Corey and Pete, come Liz and come Beto, and make it too sweet. Free health care, they yelled, and much higher wages, and don't forget getting those kids out of cages. From inside the house, old Donald did sneer. Socialist scum, I wish Rudy were here. But Rudy was sleeping off what he'd been sipping. From both sides of his head, hair dye came dripping. They're still counting votes in American Samoa, hissed Lindsay, now wearing a pink feather boa. And dead people voted, shouted Kelly McErnanny. And convicts, said Lindsay, while stroking her spanny. Finally working up some Steam for some yelling, old Joe yelled out something that was halfway compelling. Come on out, Trump. The elections recounted. You lost by nine million. Your claims are unfounded. Then on the roof, something crashed into the siding. But it was just Hunter on meth while hang gliding. This woke Giuliani and he burped, wait a minute, I found a sack in my pants and ballots are in it. Alas, Donald knew that it was to no avail, but if he gave up, they put his ass in jail. When Biden dozed off, Kamala took charge. Hey Donald, she whispered, let's do this up large. You get out tonight, and we'll give you all pardons. And then we can install windmills in the garden. You know, the kind that don't give you cancer. We'll add solar panels, and then voila! An all-vegan menu with kale and quinoa. So get into gear and pack up your shit. I'll get this pardon written legit. But Donald whined, what about all of my debts and all of the taxes I haven't paid yet? We'll sell Oklahoma and give you the dough. If that doesn't work, we'll sell Idaho. Melania perked up when she heard ho. Trump grumbled and asked, is it really that easy? As he downed Adderalls with a cup of coffee. But we have yet to pack 
and this place is a mess. So he called for his butler. Where is Kanye West? So then it was done, easy as could be. They even packed Melania's red Christmas trees. And old Donald yelled as they drove out of sight, I'll be back in four years. Save those hundred watt lights. But Kamalo winked and whispered as they departed. Wait till they read the last line on that pardon. And indeed it was writ on the signature line. Fuck all you Trumps. You're all gonna do time. And when you're inside, locked up thanks to the jurors, the only pussy-grabbing you 